Green. Midwest Modified B feature will be the first group out onto the racetrack. Top two, top two will move on. Sean Pendleton in car number 96 on the inside of road number one. On his outside, it'll be the number 35 of John Langton. Justin Walls starts back in row number three alongside Jonathan Dean. Dakota Maggard in the 156 on the outside of row number two. Top two move on, and this is going to be a dandy here, Dennis. We got some pretty good race cars in this here uh, heat race, in B Main, I should say. Yeah, we certainly do as you look up there in the front. Uh, the Maggard machine is one of those cars that's a threat to win every Saturday night, every time he's on the track. Uh, Langton's been in victory lane at number 35. Walls had some good runs in that seven car. Uh, Phillips looked good earlier, but ran into some problems in number 41. Here they come off of turn number four. Green flag will be coming out. Sean Pendleton leads them in, and John Langton with the early lead coming off turn number two, swings around to the outside. Pendleton in the number two spot. Maggard coming around the top side in that number three spot. They'll be door to door as they come off a of turn number four. Maggard in the number two. Pendleton back to the number three spot as Morrison now is trying to battle with him for that position. Up the racetrack, the 96 goes. He's going to lose a couple of spots right now, racing with Jonathan Dean in the middle of the pack. They're three wide as they come off a of turn number four. Justin Wall trying to make a pass on Jonathan Dean. Meanwhile, Pendleton right there as well. But out in front, John Langton looking good. Running in the middle of the track right now. Maggard up on the top side as we got problems in turn number four. Pendleton and Eubanks sideways over in turn number four. Couple of cars going around, Eubanks and Pendleton. And turns three and four. That'll put us under the caution flag. John Langton will be out front. Dakota Maggard in the number two spot. And the number 50 car, Leroy Morrison, running in third. Looked like Pendleton was going to get that car refired and be okay, but Eubanks going around, going to get a little bit dicey down there with Langton coming up pretty quick. Yeah, tough break there, but... Uh caution flag must come out on a deal like that as you got two cars sitting sideways over there. Disappointing for Pendleton, the number 96. He started up front. First couple laps. Car looked really good, but lost some positions and uh, then spins over here, so makes you kind of wonder if maybe something's not going on with the number 96, but nevertheless he finds himself at the rear of the pack. Here we go, coming off turn number four. John Langton leads him in one more time. Dakota Maggard choosing the top side. Jonathan Dean up into the number five spot, trying to make the pass around the 17 car. Out in front though, John Langton leads. And I believe that's Josh Paul, the number 14 car. Work at the bottom of the speedway right there in the number four spot. He's battling hard there with the 50 of Morrison. And a little spark off the number 50 car of Morrison. Here comes Dean, the number seven car. Jonathan Dean making a nice run on the outside there, trying to get that number three spot. Jonathan Dean trying to make a pass around Morrison. Meanwhile, out in front, John Langton all by himself sees the white flag. Dakota Maggard in the second spot. Both of those looking to transfer. Big battle in that number three spot. Remember, top three will go to, to the tech area. 
So if one of these top guys don't qualify, that number three spot's important. Langton taking the win. Maggard will finish second, and Jonathan Dean will get third. Well, John Langton looked awfully good right there, and same for Dakota Maggard picking up the one and two spots. But Dennis, as you mentioned, top two transfer, but the top three go to Tech. And that means if the top two don't weigh out like they should, then Jonathan Dean would be in a position to move on to the A main if he qualifies. Second. That, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. That's a great battle there for that number three spot. Those guys racing three wide there those last couple of laps. Yeah, it looked like the 14 of Josh Paul may have had a faster car than those other two, but just not able to make that bottom work and kind of wonder if maybe the top side might have been a good place for him to go. We'll find out as the race goes along, but looks like the top and the bottom both working pretty good depending on your car. And I think he kind of hit the nail on the head with Sean Pendleton. That 96 car looked good earlier in the night, but may have just missed the setup as the track changed quite a bit from the heat race. All right, next group of cars coming out. Richard Johnson in the 25, Tim Petty in the 228. Lampy in the number 17 car. That's Rick Lampy on his outside. Make that. Yes, on his outside, the number 34 of Donnie Aust. Steve Moore in the 67 car. Brandon Lyons in the number 28. And Doug Schism in the 122. And in the number 42. And that's the one we don't have. All right, that's the car we do not have. I believe a late check-in. Number 42, late check-in. Don't have a name for the number 42. This, this is going to be a good race right here. Richard Johnson looked good early uh, in the night in car number 25, got spun. So he's having to come in through this B main. Tim Petty, we know he's got good hot rod. Lampy's got a lot of laps around Springfield Raceway. He's shown a lot of promise. We'll see if he can get up there, but don't count out Donnie Austin. Doug Schism, also problems in the heat race, but that car is fast. He's only got eight laps. Can he get her done? Here we go. And things busy right away over in turn number two. They're getting sorted out as they go down the back stretch. Petty, your early leader. Doug Schism on the move. Can he get around these cars right now? Struggling just a little bit. It's Tim Petty out in front. Johnson in the 25 car running second. <laughs> Donnie Oss trying to swing around to the top side, trying to get up into the battle. Here comes Rick Lampy down on the bottom. Good battle for that number two transfer spot. Is it going to turn number one? Johnson holding on right now, but here comes Donnie Ost around the top. Tim Petty's pulling away, but what a battle behind him as these guys go three wide off turn number four. Johnson has the spot as he goes into turn number one. Ost now clears that number three spot. And it's going to be a two-car battle as they go into turn number three. Doug Schism down on the bottom of the speedway. He'll make the pass around Rick Lampy. He'll move up into the number four spot. Laps are going away quickly. Looked like Donnie Oss might have had that number two spot by just a few inches. Last time by at the flag stand. Whoa. And Schism drives it in really deep there. Gets into the side of the 25 of Johnson. And caution going to be coming out as several cars involved in that rick lampy got some damage as schism really drove it in deep and a couple of cars going to pay the price yeah and it looked like he uh tried to hold up at the very last minute there but just drove it in way too hard and a little bit of contact that's all it took i'm, I'm not sure if johnson even knew he was in the same zip code uh, as he went into, into that turn and may have been caught off guard just a little bit by that car diving in there like that. 
Got to feel bad for Johnson, caught up in a deal not of his doing in the heat race, and now same thing in the B main as he was battling for the final transfer spot. And I believe the 25 of Johnson is still good to go. And just, yeah, it looks like he's going to stay out on the racetrack. 28 car. Unfortunately, Brandon Lyons not able to continue. All right, it'll be three to go when we get back under green. As soon as we get the uh, 28 car back to the pit area. Safety crews checking out the track, and we appreciate so much our safety crew here at the Springfield Raceway. They do a nice job being Johnny on the spot whenever there's a problem out on the speedway. All right, Tim Petty's going to be your leader as we go back under green. There's only – next time around, we will go back under green. There will be three laps to go, I believe, as we take the green flag again. Johnson going off the racetrack, had a bumper dragging on that car. Tough break for him. Tim Petty, here we go, coming off turn number four. Coming off turn number two, battling down the back stretch. It'll be two to go when they come back to the start finish line. Tim Petty down on the bottom of the racetrack. Here comes Schism. Good grief. And at 34, making contact a second time with the number 122. Last lap just before that as they come off a of turn three and four. Schism, who dove it in hard on the previous caution, making contact with the number 34. And Donny Oss doing a good job keeping it out of the wall. And they make a little contact as they come off a of turn number three. That's going to slow things down here. As we get them lined up one more time. Once again, Casey's General Stores. Your sponsor for the Midwest Modifieds all season long here at the Springfield Raceway. All right, 122 car dropping to the rear of the field. And uh, that's going to set us up for a, what could be a great finish. And look at here, we got the number 67 car, Steve Moore, in the number three spot. Let's see if he's got something for Donnie Oss as we get these final couple laps in the books. Once again, top two. Top two will advance to the A main. Here they come. Off turns three and four. Green's in the air. Tim Petty digging deep down on the bottom of the speedway. Out in front, brings it into three and four, working down on the bottom of the speedway. Steve Moore trying to mount a charge. White flag in the air. One more lap to go as they go into turn number one. And Austin would like to get up there and maybe try to make a pass for the lead. Right now, these two guys are locked in as they come off at of turn number four. Tim Petty picking up the win. Aust finishes up in second. Oh. 
I want to make mention real quick the 50-50 uh, pot for Willard's project graduation is around $800, I've been told. It was at $750 about...